Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on using the alarm. All right, now the iPhone in the clock app has a built-in alarm feature, yes. which I think is wonderful. I use it for a lot of different I things. I know. <laughs> You're just a little goofy over I'm the alarm, a little goofy but over that's the alarms. okay. We love you anyway. That's right. I'm, you know, <laughs> to the age where maybe I don't remember everything quite as much. <laughs> and I do use alarms a lot to alert me throughout the day to sure. make sure I do things. So Show us how to do it. Okay, the clock app looks like the clock, and when you tap on it, you come in. You have four options in the clock app along the bottom, world clock, alarm, stopwatch, and timer. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go into the alarm. And you can also access the clock through the control panel, right? Yes, you can. Yep. Yes, you could slide up and you can go here. You just go, oh, the timer, go to the timer, but it timer. takes you into the app yeah, anyway. Right. Okay, so we're okay. going to go to the alarm. And you see we have a few alarms set up here. We're just going to go through and do a new one to take a look at it, okay? So at the top, you see the plus sign, and we're gonna go ahead and hit the plus. You can also do this on your iPad. I don't know if it makes as much sense to have alarms right. on your iPad. You don't have it with you all you the time. You don't have it with you all the time. Maybe you Maybe do. Maybe some people do. If you have an iPhone, <laughs> iPad mini, or you're in your office, you wanna be alerted yeah. of certain things, you could do it. But it comes up and it basically has the, um, the wheel to allow us to pick a time. So mm -hmm. we'll go ahead and pick a time, maybe for 11.38 a.m. Yep. And then um, that's pretty simple. You just wheel, you just turn the wheel to set it to what you want. Then we have a repeat. Mm -hmm. It defaults to never, but you could say every Tuesday I want you to do this, or every Tuesday and Thursday I want this alarm to go off. Right. Maybe you have um, you want to make sure you take the garbage out at a certain time. And you, can you have every day? You would have to just go through and pick them. Oh, all. okay. Oh, yeah. good. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you can Perfect. pick them all, so you, or you can pick your morning alarm for work or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to just be whenever that time comes next on your iPhone. So it's 11.38 oh, okay. right now. Um, if I had this set to 11.37, it's going to be tomorrow at 11.37 a.m. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's just a one there that you can't pick an alarm for sometime in the future. Right. So it, that doesn't go by date. It goes by the 24-hour period that you're in. Yeah. Right. 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 And day. <clears throat> right. If you want to get fancy for with that, you have to use calendar right. alerts. Okay, and then we have a label, and this is kind of nice because you can say uh, things like, I use it a lot for checking the laundry because I'm oh, infamous. Oh, okay, see, this is where you get a little crazy. This is where I get a little crazy, <laughs> but you know, we work from home, and I may have a little laundry in, and yep. if I forget about it, guess what? It's going to be all wrinkled, and I yep. do not like to iron. Or so, it's going to be wet and smelly. That's right. So I go ahead and do a laundry alarm, um, and then you can pick a sound, so you can come in and pick whatever, oh, whatever sound you want it to be. That one's kind of annoying, too. Okay. And then it will make that sound. You also can turn the snooze button on or off. Uh huh. So if you don't want to, in the morning when you snooze, get up for work, you might want it. You might off. Want, might want it. Well, off. a lot of people like the or snooze. On. I'm not a snoozer. Are you a snoozer? I snooze once. Okay, I can't snooze. <laughs> I just get right up. So that's how you do it, and you hit save, and then it goes ahead, and you can see that that alarm is on. Mm -hmm. I can turn the alarm off or on at any so time. So it'll stay in there now. It will. So later on, and what'll happen is once I switch the load, yeah. <laughs> I go into it uh, by saying edit. So you go up here to the edit button, uh -huh. and then you can come in and you can like delete one delete of your alarms it. if you want. Like let's just delete this one that just says alarm, delete. Or you could do the swipe over. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. I guess I can't do that here. It's not on. Edit. Yeah. Okay, well, whatever. We're going to go in here and look at this alarm. So I can come in and I can say, oh, okay, I just did the laundry, so now I'm going to check it again in another hour. Go ahead and save. Now it's back on for Perfect. the next hour. And then when you're all done, you can just turn it off and save it because I'm sure doing laundry while you're working at home is something that you do quite That's a right. lot. So you can just leave it on. Right. right. So alarms that you use periodically, right. you can save this them set up. If we weren't filming with my phone, you'd probably be alarmed at my alarms <laughs> because I have so many alarms. This is Karen's phone that we're looking at, but I do have a lot of alarms. Oh, right. Wake up, reminders to call certain people, you know, things like yeah. that, that I want to make sure I remember to do at a certain mm -hmm. time. And does it work for you? It really does. I really <laughs> find alarms more than reminders or calendar alerts because they, they're, they're right. really persistent. They don't come up and go away. No, they stay there and they really make you do something. Right. So okay. that's our tech bit on using alarms. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.